isometric design. When talking about grids, it's hard not to notice isometric design grids being used everywhere to create a wider variety of interesting and unique looking design projects. They can be used to create buildings and icons for use for branding and create really professional looking design assets. You can even craft entire cities using isometric grids to give it a consistent perspective. Isometric grids can be used to create interesting infographics that convey a sense of wonder and excitement that can make any design more appealing to look at. And they don't always have to be these huge, large-scale projects either. They can be used in modern, practical ways like small graphics for landing pages and web designs. You can easily see the wide application isometric grids can give you, and this section is going to get you one step closer to mastering this wonderful grid setup. The isometric grid is simple in its structure. It's created by overlapping equally spaced horizontal lines with two copies and simply rotating those each 60 degrees and then another time 60 degrees. You'll notice the grid almost looks like overlapping 3D cubes. We're going to take a few minutes to talk about the basic uses for this type of grid and talk about how we can properly use shadows and highlight color shades to make your 3D ideas come to life. First of all, let's talk about light sources and isometric designs. You'll notice that a light source must stay consistent throughout the entire design piece. For instance, if you have a direct light source coming from a noon sun, then your top isometric plane will all be a similar shade throughout the piece. This means your isometric top plane will be your brightest, and your isometric left plane will have a medium shade or tone, and your isometric right will have the darkest shade. Colors could be different throughout, but it's the shade, brightness, and darkness of a color that changes. And speaking of isometric planes, there's four of them. Isometric left, which will be everything facing the left part of your artboard. Isometric right will, will be the plane that faces rightward, Isometric top is everything at the top plane, and of course, lastly, your isometric bottom, which will be everything underneath. When it comes to creating your different shades, sometimes I like to start out with the middle shade. In this case, it's blue. Then I go to my color picker and move up my selection to add a little bit more white or highlight to my color to create a highlight color. Then I like to take my middle shade and move my color picker downward to create my darker shadow shade. So now we have a highlight color, a shadow color, and something a little bit in the middle. We also need to talk about showing depth and height using the isometric grid. You could show height by extending items upward. You could show depth by extending items to the upper right or left diagonally. And lastly, you can show width by extending objects diagonally downward or upward. You can practice the art of layering different objects to create a layered rich look, like in this example. Adobe Illustrator makes it easy to automatically create shapes and different isometric planes. You just go up to the Effect, 3D, Extrude and Bevel options, and you access the Position drop-down menu to create isometric left, right, top, or bottom positions. You can do the same thing with text. Increase your Extrude depth or number to add more depth to your object. In the Shading options, Plastic Shading will give you the best results. And you can change that position on the sphere to match your lighting source. And we're going to practice this a lot in our project coming up where we're going to use this tool to really speed up our workflow. I have provided a simple geometric grid uh, in Adobe Illustrator as a template. So you can hop right into creating this isometric design without worrying about creating the grid. Then we're going to tackle this project, where we use both the Isometric Grid and Adobe Illustrator's 3D tools to craft an iPad graphic with 3D layers. I'll even show you where you can find some free isometric people to use in your design.